A top Florida Democrat is suing the Biden administration over marijuana use and gun ownership. The state's agriculture commissioner is targeting a federal requirement that prohibits medical marijuana users from buying firearms. NBC News senior national political reporter Mark Caputo is joining us from outside Florida's state capitol today. So Mark, walk us through this lawsuit. What's at stake here? What it says is if you want to buy a firearm and you are in a state like Florida where you can legally possess and use medical marijuana, you should be able to buy the firearm. Right now, on the firearm form for purchasing a gun, it asks you, do you use illegal drugs? And then it has a warning. And the warning specifically says marijuana is illegal at the federal level. So therefore, you have to check yes. And if you check yes, you can't buy the gun. If you check no, then you're lying and you're exposed to as much as a five-year prison sentence for putting false information on a federal form. Oh, as these types of laws become, they put into place at least, these types of things are gonna be converging between guns, alcohol, which I think would be a part about this, and also marijuana use and being able to buy guns. It's a federal, still federally illegal. So that's where the problem does get built up. So Nikki Fried, she's running for governor out there, and she's filing this lawsuit against the Biden administration, what they've done with two, three other Florida citizens, two weed smokers who wanna buy guns and one gun owner who wants to smoke weed. They just keep coming together. It's a unifying moment. There's more here, watch. And as a result, in Freed's lawsuit, she has three Florida citizens, two of whom are medical marijuana users and had their rights to buy a firearm denied. Another one, a former police officer from another state who's retired, who wants to keep his concealed weapons permit, possibly buy more firearms, but also found that he qualifies for medical marijuana. But he doesn't want to get his medical marijuana card because if he does, and then he has to buy a new gun or wants to buy a new gun, he then faces this quandary. This quandary, I'm curious what you think about this, Jackson, but really fast, Nikki Free did point this out. She's really promoting the fact that she's fighting this fight. So maybe she's seeing that this is a, a something that, again, as I was pointing out, brings different people together. So she tweeted this out. I'm suing the Biden administration, again, she's a Democrat, because people's rights are being limited. Medical marijuana, marijuana is legal, guns are legal. This is about people's rights and their freedoms to responsibly have both. And also she tweets out, as governor, I'll legalize weed. So she makes sure she's on the line when it comes to that. And also when it comes to people's gun rights, whether she stands with the outright mass production and distribution of guns in every child's and teenager and adult's hands, like many Republicans think, she does think at least if you're gonna have both these things be legal, let them both be legal. Actually, I think this is a pretty interesting story. Yeah, you know, because there's just so many angles here. One, I, she's not going to take down Ron DeSantis, but it, you know, just the fact that she's pushing for this, it is a good political play because the state of Florida is very adamant about gun ownership. Yeah. And at the end of the day, Americans do have rights to own firearms. Uh, you know, if they they're very loose laws, but we do have that right. And so, just because you're a cannabis smoker. Um, especially as we're looking at, at, at cannabis and marijuana becoming legalized more and more. It hasn't been legalized at a federal level, but I don't see any reason why if guns are legal, someone who smokes marijuana shouldn't be able to purchase a gun as well. So I think that this actually is, if, if I was in legislation there, I mean, suing the Biden administration, I think that's kind of a, you know, it looks nice. But I think that this is actually a worthwhile thing to go after politically because it will satisfy people across the political board and it is a real issue. I mean, we have rights to guns, so why can't they own firearms as well? You know, if nothing else, this is another part about this that intrigued me is people have this assumption that it's these libs and these Democrats and these hippies that smoke weed. But these tight vested conservatives with their ties tied up to their neck and bow ties don't ever divulge, don't ever participate in this Satan's activity. Oh, they but do they more do drugs, <laughs> and then if they if if they're if they're banned from having their guns because of it, uh, that'll come to light. That'll be argued. That'll be discussed. They'll be like, "How dare Biden take away my w-? wait? I'm not supposed to say I'll do that." So the, <laughs> now that those things are going to converge because they're going to point out how they want their guns. They're definitely very proud of that. So that's going to have to then be brought in with this particular issue. And maybe Nick Fried is ahead of it, and she knows that she's going to get those kinds of arguments, which then could lead to discussions about the federal law 
that probably should be changed as well because there's gonna be enough conservatives for some reason will listen to them more that are finally be upset about these weed laws. When everyone else is upset about it, who cares? Those are just hippies. <laughs> no, well, I mean, and let's not forget, you know, uh, uh, Madison Cawthorn. He's been talking about the orgies and the drugs. So, you know, these sophisticated people they know how to party as well. So mm, probably <laughs> even more so. They just hide oh, it yeah. better. 